Hi guys, this is Network Ninja here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see how to factory reset Alcatel Lucent OS6450 switch. I have already powered on the switch and I'm going to log in right now with the default username and password admin and switch. As you can see, there is already some configuration on this switch. You know, the switch is labeled as lab switch. We are going to check if there are any VLANs on this switch. And yes, there are two VLANs configured. We want to see if there are any IP interface configured. And there are two IP in interfaces are configured, data and voice. So what we're going to do, we're going to factory set this switch to factory default settings. To do that, we need to delete one file from the working directory. To check the directory, we will use command pwd. To change the directory, we're going to use cd flash working. Now we are in working directory. To list all the files in the working directory, we're going to use command ls. This tells us or list all the files in the working directory. This is the file boot.cfg we need to delete to factory set the switch. So remove the file, we're going to use command rm boot.cfg. That is the file name. Once you remove this file, you can list the items in the directory again. And now you can see that that file don't exist anymore. So we have successfully deleted that file. Now we are going to reboot this switch from the working directory. To reboot the switch from working directory, we are going to use command reload working no rollback timeout. Enter and the switch is just asking us to confirm it and yes, we want to reboot the switch. The switch is rebooting right now. I will see you back in few seconds when the switch is, switch is up. Okay, the switch is up. I'm going to log back in. And you can see the prompt is gone, which means the switch is successfully reset to factory default setting. We will confirm that by checking the VLANs. There are no VLANs. There is only one VLAN, which is default VLAN 1. We are going to check the IP interfaces and there are no IP interfaces. So this means that we have successfully factory reset the switch to factory default settings. To make sure you have successfully saved the configuration on the switch, you have to make sure the directories are certified. So from the working directory, you have to copy the configuration to certified directory. So to do that, write the command write memory flash synchronize. This will just copy or synchronize both directory with the current configuration on the switch. This way you have successfully factory said the switch with the default configuration. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. I will see you in the next one.